Hello guys and welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent. This is Epsilon and today we're going to try and find the pieces of the orb. So last episode we did here. We know that the, well I don't know, I assume the orb goes here because, you know, uh, and it will drop that barrier. There are six pieces located around everywhere. Uh, the torture chamber is in the choir, I think they said. Uh, and we need to find those six pieces. I also need to apparently find some kind of... Is this your time for the sick dead? If so, blame yourself. You started this. You sent me that letter asking for help, and this is how you repay me. How dare you! <laughs> hmm. Um. Oh my god, I'm going crazy. Uh. I still don't know how to actually, like, up my sanity. I know, like, I know solving puzzles and making making progress will fix it, but that doesn't seem to be helping. Nave. Something died inside of him that day. Watching that man slip away was more than his mind was willing to handle. Hm. Okie dokie. I like that... Like, I suspect... Uh, I suspect that Alexander was the man. These cells are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture, and you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well, and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. Wow, really? Really? And you thought this was a good idea, Daniel? You thought this was a good idea? Really? Okay. So, I still suspect that Alexander sent the original map um, to... I already forgot his friend's name. But to his friend which Daniel then used to find the orb. I still suspect that. I suspect it heavily. Um, let's see. So these are all, like, hatched and stuff. Interesting. I suppose I was supposed to go to the Navy and, and then come back here. I have a lot of oil. I should probably quit wasting it. I suppose this is the Navy. To whatever that is. What is this? The Chancel. We need to find the choir and torture rooms. Cause that's where the orb pieces are. Dad, good to see you. Who me? I'm Heinrich Cornelius Agrippi. I was once quite important to you. Baron Alexander to sustain my soul in this dead heart for years. Who knows how many? Hundreds, I presume. Okay. Alexander is quite impressive in many ways, but he has grown impatient. Okay. In impatient for what, sir? By me? I'm the next best thing. Hmm. Alexander really by none of us is Johann Bayer. Who? Oh, you the guy. You've never heard of Johann Bayer? My god, boy. He's probably the greatest man in history. And you don't know him? Never heard of him. Or is it the world who has forgotten him? Yes. Uh, okay. Oh! Oh! Really? Really game? What is this? In here? What am I, what am I looking at in here? I have a my oh! My people. Yes. I do take five minutes at that. Is it so wrong? Mm, I don't know. What did he do? Sir? Good sir. Uh, that'll be the source? No. Oh, the store. No. Is anything around here? What's the point of that then? I found a mithraia box. One which had not been plundered. Do you know mithraia's? Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. It is an old thing. Building temples out of caverns. The dark walls being the universe, and inside are its followers, humans 
watching the sky slowly tire. But the followers do have one thing to allow them real sense of connection, creation, some orbs. Okay. Are you, are you gonna tell me what the orbs do? What was the point of touching this? Why, why did I touch this? Okay, well. Not many orbs are left. They sometimes consume themselves or break, then used by an uninitiated. I was lucky. The orb I found spared my life and returned to where I found it. I know because Alexander took it and brought it to Brandenburg. Okay, okay. Mr. Exposition. So good to know. Is there anything this way? Oh, that's a grief of crying. There's no way to like pull these off. Really? I don't have anything. How about the meat? What is this? Bucket of tar. Nope. Okay. Um, I feel I'm probably too far away to be of any use to him. Here. Yeah, let's head back then. Uh, is there a map? Do I have a map? This thing is this thing is as heavy as a corpse's torso. It's good to know. Future reference. What? Okay. That was that was my attempt at fixing that. Uh, is there a map? I know we have like memos and stuff. Maybe we might have a map that would give me some. I do get it. I was a brave man and dared to proceed where I did not. He unearthed a number of cavern temples and gathered a whole collection of orbs. But unlike every other finder since the fall of the Israel thing, he was able to unshackle the heart. You and I connected with the orbs. He used them and was able to travel far and wide beyond the world itself. Uh, okay, okay. The pedestal and the chancellor's impression that fit an orb. The heavy door is locked in the packing over the nice to know that you know where. You know the inner sanctum. Two of in the top floor are not working. The top floor. Oh! Oh, so I bet it's those. Okay. Me, I'll do. Not the way I hope to open. I've done all that I can to escape this prison. But now, I use all my strength merely to stay alive. Okay. I'll be back, good sir. I assume you're a sir. Your name is Agrippa. That is a typically fe uh, female, typically male Roman name. Where are these levers? Are they like right up here, or are they like up, up at the top floor? I think they're up at the top floor. I don't recall seeing them though. It's been like two or three days since I filmed last. Come on, just keep climbing up. You'll be fine. There's some light up here. I'm almost completely sane again. How amazing. Um, where are these levers? Just like Regent's Park. Just like what? What? Oh. This, this broom. Never mind. Uh, so let's find these levers. Hmm, still haven't gone in there yet. Okay. So... Oh, oh, okay, I remember these now. And you? I'm going to presume, rightly or not, that, that opened those two large doors uh, down next to Agrippa. Just going to assume that. Probably wrong. Daniel, you have gone too far. I have to stop you. I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. And how do you plan on doing that, sir? Uh, I bet you agree to have something else to say as soon as I get down here. How are things coming? You got the doors open? Good going. I knew you could do it. Yay. 
I kind of like Agrippa, mostly because I've not had anybody to talk to this entire game, and now he's like, I'm gonna chat up a freaking storm at you. <laughs> There's no light in here, so let's pull that back out. Let's not fall in there. What's this? Can I just, like, take this? I don't, I don't need it. I like how you can see the shadow, like, on the far wall, but there's like, you can't see my hand or anything. Uh, can I stick something to that? Can I even interact with it? Do I even want to? Is there a reason for me to do that? Oh, wait, maybe I can lower it and then climb down it. Come on, go all the way down. That was an incorrect assumption. Okay then, never mind, let's go. Let's see what is this way. Just transept. I think he mentioned this. The thick liquid spread across his tongue. He swallowed excessively to consume every drop. He looked through the window at the widespread forest in the morning sun. Will this ever end, he thought? No, not until you and Alexander are both dead. We should honestly probably both deserve it. Oh, that's not. <laughs> Let's not. How much more, Baron? How much more am I supposed to withstand? Kill me, Lord. Kill me! This one. Prepare him. Creepy. Super creepy. Okay, let's see. Let's go left first. Uh, of course, there's no light. Here. Oh, torture chamber. Total torture chamber. Let's close that door just so nothing can get in here at me. Okay. The kidnapper sat on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted and her body followed. Her shoulders gave way to the weight of her own body and cracked loudly. The suspended woman cried hysterically as the men contemplated their next step. Oh, that's right. Daniel, I, I do feel you should probably be being tortured by the horrible things you've probably done. Picked a piece of wood. Can I get in here? I feel it's going to matter. I definitely feel it's going to matter. Oop. Dang. Give me that. Thank you. Texture and color are constantly changing. Oh, good. What am I, what am I working with here? What is this doing? really know what the point of that was, other than to make me go insane. Fantastic. Ugh, now I have this, like, freaked out blurry vision. Okay, Doki. Done with this. Out of here now. What happened to her? You tortured her, Daniel. I, th I thought that was, like, blatantly clear at this point, that you've been torturing and murdering people. Like, I thought you knew this. You're not aware of the terrible things you've been doing, Daniel? Okay. The cradle is ready. Good. You, you're a man. How can you partake in this? Is he all right? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm not a bad man. It was an accident. He set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault! Why wouldn't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. Who oh, there? Please! Do anything! Whatever you want! Anything! Not do anything! I ew, ew, squishy sounds. Oof. Give me this. Get the pizza orb. 
The arsonist kept crying as he was slowly lowered on and off the impaler. It just didn't take much to break him. They had meant for him to die, but the torture was working beyond their expectations. It wasn't the method, it was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. Oh, creepy. Yeah, Daniel, you're a terrible, terrible person. Who didn't see that coming? Hmm. I know you probably felt it was necessary to keep your life alive, but quite frankly, I'm still judging you. Oh, wait. Was there somebody in here before? I was pretty sure that was empty. Do you... Hello? Hello? No? Okay. Uh, let's just get to the other piece of... It's dark. I know something's gonna happen when I pick up the other piece of here. Somehow I feel there's no monster in here, like at all, and I'm still freaking out over this stuff. I see it, I see it. I want, I want, I want this. Good night. The rapist hanged upside down, his tears soiled with blood flowing from his belly. Blood flooding from his belly. The saw between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The man, the men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. Oh! Oh! Okie dokie! Oh, never mind. Yeah, Daniel, you're a terrible person. Like, literally the worst. I need to do that. They won't stay together. Well, who on them? Uh, okay. Let's head up those stairs and then get out of this terrible place! <laughs> I feel so uncomfortable here. I just saw a man being sawed in half. Dick first. Alright, come on, just go upstairs. There's nothing for you to worry about. I suppose I should conserve my oil. I'm running out of it. In here? I don't even know what I'm looking for. I guess maybe those notes, maybe more pieces. A box. String. Okay. Ooh, oil. Give me that. Uh, anything else of value in here? I suppose I could check the drawers as well. Ooh, another one of those things. I don't know what they are. Is it you, my love? I miss the most. Is it you, my love? I miss the most. Or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become. I am not blind. I am a monster to them, to them, a demonic sultan perched on a dark mountaintop. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. There, this time, it must work. If I can't return home now, I shall perish. Still don't quite know what that's in reference to. Notes on torture! Oh goody! There are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effects I am after. The right steps to take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, preceded by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, and then to continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient, as it will trigger itself, in trigger itself into greater fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also, apply the pain in doses, if possible, with breaks to let the victim's body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, 
feed them the amnesia drink, and try again later. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. 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 No, no. Okay. New theory. We're not Daniel. We think we are. And we just do this over and over so that the Baron can produce sufficient, sufficient vitae. Vitae. It is technically vitae. Uh, so many theories. I don't know. That one seems plausible to me. Because, I mean, such filth, he thought. Good men can safely cheer their departure as they are nothing but a burden to mankind. They shall not be missed. That doesn't mean you have to torture them! Oh my god! Even if these were the worst of the worst, Daniel, it says terrible things about you that you're willing to torture them. Like, it's just not good for you. Uh, can I fall in? <laughs> I like it. Watch your step. Okay. Uh, come on. Respond me, please. Bring me back. Where you bring me back to? Oh, down here. Oh, no, oh, this is where I want to be, isn't it? Okay, uh, well, before we go the other direction, uh, I think this is a good time to end the episode. So, like, leave a comment, subscribe. No, well, let's see if I can pass any Good to see you. You seem to have found all the old pieces used in the transfer. Go to the choir and find the list. Alright, um, so like, leave a comment, subscribe, the whole thing you hear at the end of every single YouTube video, and I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye!